Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Weich Coleman. This video is intended to be a prequel to our Cataract Basics video series. We're going to go over a few things that I think are underemphasized points about uh, general seating position, setup with the pedals, tilt of the microscope, hand positioning and instrument handling. I think these things are not talked about very much in residency, and I think it'll help you be more successful with your cataract surgery technique if you get a good setup to begin with. I sit in a C-arm stool. Whatever you sit in, make sure you got some lumbar support. I don't like a stool that doesn't have back support. If I sit down now, it's not really giving me much back support. So I'm going to take the time to look at this, slide it forward to where it's slightly overlapping the edge of the chair. We can lock it in position there. And you can see that's giving me good lumbar support. So now that we've got good lumbar support, we're in a good position in the stool. Let's talk about chair height. The ideal chair height for me is a slight down angle of my legs before I put my feet on the pedals because that's going to raise them up a couple of inches. And now that I have my feet on the pedals, my legs are almost level. One of the things I see early residents do is get the pedals too close to them. There's a reason the gas pedal in your car is relatively far away. You have better fine motor control of your foot when it's a little bit further away from you than being too close. I like to use the pedals as an anchor to hold me in position. That keeps me from sliding back. You want the lever on the stool that raises you up and down to be in front of you. So if you get there in the case and you say, I want to go up or down an inch, you can do it easily with your heel. Another point is to not have the pedals too close together. I like to have them fairly good distance apart and have your feet resting in a position where you can exercise all the functions of the pedal.